My father, the Lord said, I should tell you, you are his servant. He wants to use you greatly. Pardon? Our pastor. We are pastor. <laughs> Celebrate the grace, somebody. Hallelujah. Right, Glory. Do you tell me? No. Do you tell me that? No. Come. Listen. The Lord said I should tell you you are not a pastor, you are a prophet. Amen. Amen. It's only that there are powers in your background that are sitting on the prophetic ministry in you, not to manifest. You are not a pastor. Amen. But one thing I was seeing, that's why I prayed to get it clear before I tell you. In the spirit realm, I see you moving to places, planting churches. And this thing I say, ah, but this is the work for the apostles. And why am I seeing you doing that? So I was thinking you are an apostle, but the Lord said, Tell him it's my anti prophet. Amen. So it means that He has given you the grace also to do the work as an apostle, like planting the churches. Amen. It's an extra grace. Amen. It's given to you. I, I started already. Pardon? I started already. I started already. You started planting churches. Yes. Amen. Yes. Shout fire. fire! I cannot hear you. Fire! I cannot hear you. Fire! He said he has started already planting the churches. So this is what I've seen. I, I said this is the work for apostles. Why is he planting churches? Apostle of But God said he's a prophet. So a prophet. So that one is extra grace I've given to him. It's extra grace I've given to him. My prophet, I've seen that you are going to write anointed books. Amen. 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 Anointed what? Books. Amen. Yes, I've seen it. You become an author of many books. Amen. Hello, dear Cheris viewers. We have our sister here who had an encounter with the man of God, Prophet Maurice Kao, during the second day of the program. So, sister. Please, what's your name and where you are coming from? My name is Bridget Efiaji Jose. Okay, so please, where are you coming from? Um, we are the Volta region. At the Volta region. Okay, please, can you tell us what the band of God prophesied to you on the second day of the program? Okay, on the second day of the program, he told me that I wanted to commit a suicide. And that is very true. I, I, I had wanted to kill myself. And the devil planned that this girl would take of her own life. I've been trying. You have been trying to do that. You have been trying to take your life. Huh? Yes. Do you tell me? No. Nobody knows. And he also said, uh, in the next future, I'll build an orphanage, hospitals, and schools. And that is my dream. That is what I want to do in the next future. Listen, I've seen that you built an orphanage home. Huh? Yes. Huh? That's what I want to do. Huh? That is what I want to do. It's in your mind. Yes. It's in your heart. I Should... told someone to help me build it. Pardon? I told one. Like one man to help me build an orphanage. You told one man to help you build an orphanage. Yes. Do you tell me? No, please. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. I've seen she will build an orphanage home. Listen, there will be a school to it. There will yeah. be hospital to yeah. it. Are you getting me? Yeah. I see a school. school. Hospital. Yeah. That means what the man of God prophesied to you is accurately the truth. So do you believe that as far as this man of God, Prophet Maurice Kahu, prophesied to you concerning the, your desires in life, building an orphanage home and a hospital, do you believe that it will come to pass? Yes, it will come to pass because that is my dream. That, that is, is what I want to do. That is what you want to do. Yes. So please, can you, uh, what advice do you have for people 
looking at you right now or watching you right now? What advice do you have for them? Okay, my advice for my the viewers is that when you have a cult with the prophet, your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. Yes. God bless you and have a wonderful <laughs> Dear Cherish viewers, we have our brother here who also had an encounter with the man of God, Prophet Morris Kahu, during the three days prophetic program at Praise Christ Gospel Church, Accra Teshi. Please, your name and where you're coming from. Okay, my name is Dagadu Foster Salom. I'm coming from Teshi. You are coming from Teshi? Yeah. Please, can you tell us the encounter you had during the three days prophetic program? Okay. Thank you for giving me the chance to speak to our cherished viewers. Actually, the move of God was so much, so was so much powerful, and there was so much deliverances and healings that went on in this place, and 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 it was so surprising. So private, so yeah, Actually, on the second day, I had an encounter with God through the prophet, and it was so much awesome. Things that was hidden in the in, in darkness in secret was revealed through the prof, through the through our prophet, okay. and and we bless God for that. We bless God for that. Yeah. Uh, if I can remember, on the the, the second day of the yeah. program, you had an encounter, or the man of God prophesied to you concerning a cup webs yeah. that always entangles you, even in your room. Yeah. Can you please tell us something about it? Yeah, I was experiencing that thing. Oh. Uh, the man of God came to reveal what was it and what and what it was doing in my life. Actually, it was it was it was it was a trap they have they set to 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 make my progress retrogress. Yeah. So through the prophet, through this cobwebs was broken, and then to now I'm not experiencing it again. You are not experiencing yeah. it again. Yeah. So what good advice do you have for our viewers out there about what God is using Prophet Morris to do in our end time? Okay, I will tell our viewers one thing that our prophet is a real true man of God, and when we and and anybody that that will have an encounter with him any any circumstances or any problem in which the person is going through will be cleared of or the person will be saved the person will be saved yeah. so what our dear brother is telling us that there is nothing that our god cannot do yeah. so whatever problem that you are facing just have faith that when you meet this man of god prophet morris Kau, your life will never be the same hello cherish viewers we have our brother here who also participated in the three days program at praise christ gospel church in accra teshi please your name and where you're coming from i'm daniel abale and i'm from teshi yeah. you are from teshi yeah. please can you tell us the experiences you had during the three days night program uh, in fact the program was awesome and the prophetic ministry is very great and in fact this time it was very higher than um, the previous ones that he came and i'm saying that god has used the man of god to touch lives and he has impacted lives as well and most of the prophecies that he gave in fact they were all confirmed it is true this means that the man of God is very deep and he really hears from God and he sees from God. Yeah. What advice would you do you have for them? <laughs> I say this man of God when you encounter him because um, for God to bless a man, he true men bless. And I believe that this end time, this is a man that God is true blessing the universe and the whole entire world.
is the Lamb of God who sits upon. He is the Lord. He is the what is He alone is what He God
Wanga 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 bau Wanga 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 e Wanga 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 e Wanga bau 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 Oh, David, my chapel. Oh, David, my chapel. 